Hey everybody, it's me, Rumi, the comic book poser, and I'm here today to welcome you to Enter the Poseverse. I got a heavy box, and I'm excited to, to rip into this one. Uh, it came in a couple of days ago, and I let it sit far longer than I usually do. So to see what's in the box from Deadpool's comics, you'll check it out after this. Uh, so I think my buddy Deadpool, so I say it all the time, does some of the, the sickest boxes on Instagram that he's back in the swing of doing boxes again. Uh, so I picked up a couple for myself and then picked up, uh, I think it was two more that I wanted to spread the love with some folks who were uh, getting some boxes from him uh, for, I know it was the first time for one of them. So... I'm excited to find out what they they got, uh, but these are great boxes. They're always right around the, the $50, $60 mark. Uh, he will do a, a high dollar box from time to time, and in the past, uh, I've gone that route and pulled some absolute hits that I've drawn some slabs, some big keys from him. Uh, this time, I think it was, a, it was either a 10 or a 20 box run. Uh, I can't remember. So in here I can see staring at me a number nine on a sticky note. So in box nine, uh, nine and 11 are in here. So I got four boxes. I can't remember these things. So we got two in here, two in the other one. It's been a long day. All right, so I think, here we go. So here's box number nine. We got, ooh, Marvel Knights Captain America Ice, part four of five. Part five of five. Cap lives, so number 17. Oh, I love this next book coming up. Uh, I'm a sucker for that 90s image goodness. We've got Death Blow number one. And one of the reasons I love this cover is not just because of how the red pops on the foil, but if you look at it, I gotta get the best angle with no glare, you can see so subtly that the character is there on the cover. We've got Ghost Rider, number 20. Ooh, hello. And I think this is an X-Men book that I do not have. Uncanny X-Men number 192 So there you go, I mean, you know, I'm biased towards X-Men So I think from this box my two favorite books sorry Kathy and Johnny blaze uh, But it's either that death blow or this uncanny X-Men book So in box 11 oh number four in the venom saga I'm smiling because uh, I think maybe he was swimming in a couple of these, but I'll take two of them. Uh, uh, Death Blow, another number one. And then we've got more of that Captain America run. So we've got 12. We got some tape that got away from us. 12, 13, 14. So we've got ice. Now we have ice parts one through five in that box. And then here in the way back, we've got, hmm, Spectacular Spider-Man 209. Is that a Lee Bernejo cover? No, Sabusema, way off. Uh, but Spider-Man versus the Foreigner, okay. So I'm excited to check out that Marvel Knights Captain America story arc that I've read some of the Marvel Knight stuff, but that's definitely an arc that I'm not familiar with. And I'm excited that I have uh, two copies of Deathblow now, and those both look super clean. So I think I may be using uh, my Comic Tom golden ticket from October uh, to send that puppy in, or both of those puppies in to get graded. I don't think there's any wild spec value or anything to those books. I just think it's a dope cover. Alright, so 
So let's do our next two boxes. Number three and number seven. And our split is there. So we'll do number three and then we'll end on lucky number seven. We've got Infinite Crisis is here. Gotham Central, number 37. That's not a book I'm familiar with. But I can read it because we got 38. 39. And I'm freezing because for the third time I pulled a GP. Boom. Savage She-Hulk number one. Boom. Oh. That's awesome. New stand. 40 center. Seen a little bit better days, but we all know how beat up white covers can get from time to time, so that's a hell of a pull. Maybe I should have opened number three last, but we'll see if we get lucky in lucky number seven. So here we go. Oh, Ghost Rider 2099, number eight. Ghost Rider somebody I'm going to start getting into a little bit more time in, a little more over time. We've got Gotham Central, 30, 40. Ooh, I did not get this cover, and this is a current book that I really like. And this is the Joker number four, and it's the Perio variant. And the last book, oh, that's a dope-ass cover. Uh, a Girl Walks Home Alone at Night, number two. That's creepy. That one might give me the nightmares. But yeah. Super stoked with both of these, or with all four of these boxes to get uh, a lot of books that stay in the PC. There are some short runs of some series that I'm definitely going to check out, especially if I got what looks like the front end of a story arc. But uh, I'm super stoked to check these things out and I'm super stoked to have some She-Hulk in my life because I think she might be the next woman in my life that I start tracking down when I finish up my Spider-Woman collection but let me know what you think about these boxes you should most definitely check out Deadpool's that I plug him all the time his boxes are amazing I feel like I got way more than my money's worth even if we took this box or this book out of the, the equation that I feel like I got my bank for my buck there uh, so super excited so let me know what you all think in the comments down below. And as always, thanks for stopping by. Have a good one.